So, um, hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to another one of my um, how-tos. Uh, most of the how-tos I put on uh, YouTube are just experiences that uh, I have in life and the roadblock. You've got a problem, you either can't afford to get it fixed or um, there's no warranty or there is warranty and there's no aftercare. Um, so today's topic, let me bring it forward, egg speakers. Now the title of this YouTube video is going to be Kef Eggs, a sticky situation. Um, those who have got these Kef Eggs, uh, especially the matte black ones, will um, realise after a while that uh, the, the, the rubber coating um, breaks down and becomes um, sticky and um, absolutely um, useless, horrible to have in the house. I don't know whether you can see because I've got the camera the one way around. I'll move the camera around to see if you can get a better light but um, just for, for now this is how sticky it is. Literally I can hold it upside down. Um, so I'm just going to move the camera around because I can see that the light's wrong. Bear with me. Right, we're back on again. I've turned the camcorder around and um, yes, sticky, sticky, nasty eggs. If I can see in the light there, put my fingerprints on. Can you see that? I got in touch with Kef only after having these for um, one and a half years and they said uh, get back to the shop where you purchased it from. But well, why should I go back to the shop for the shop to then go back to Kef? It makes no sense. Um, I'll never buy a Kef product again and I'll never recommend a Kef product again. Um, they're, they're, of course they're a great design, they're a great speaker, however for the money you always expect that little bit more of a customer service. You don't mind paying the extra money for the extra customer service. So, to fix this problem, um, there are two options. One, you can either um, strip all the paint off, um, and undercoat it and spray it gloss, which I've done on my center speaker. Or, um, there's another trick you can do, which will vertically uh, bring these uh, back to shock condition and it'll take all this uh, sticky mess off. So what you're going to need uh, YouTubers is, um, oh, let me put that there, right, you're going to need something for your lap because this is going to take uh, half an hour, there you go, and a rag. This is what we need, cellulose thinners. Any car shop will sell good quality cellulose thinners. Don't go to a cheap haberdashery shop, hardware shop. They'll just sell you a mixture of chemicals that seem to act like cellulose thinners. You want a good quality grade cellulose thinners. And uh, basically, um, if I take the bottom off, I'll then be able to show you much better on the base. So there's the base. I'll just move the camera around so if you can see that hopefully. And going to do is put some cellulose thinners on and initially just give it a light wipe. Basically what I hope to achieve by the light wipe is just to um, saturate it a bit, let it do its job and uh, it involves less um, manual labour I suppose. Right, there we have it saturated. 
you will see the gluey sticky gunk um, start to absorb the cellulose so uh, again if you can see a few simple wipes and all the stickiness will, will come off. Uh, the only issue I've got is that um, you have to keep a separate area of the rag, a bit more cellulose, and basically you're, you're um, it just, you know, so the cellulose is thinning it down enough for it to wipe off. Um, soon enough, you, you'll soon realise that uh, when it's all gone, because you'll no longer get the, the sticky feelings on your on your fingers and on your hands, because um, it will transfer to your fingers and your hands. Um, do the underside and the edge. And I will do my fingers because I don't want to um, keep transferring it back on. Don't forget to use a cream, a barrier cream afterwards, uh, just to rehydrate your skin. But I've already done one, so I'm not feeling any uh, adverse effects. Smells quite nice. So this is it, the, the base is done, um, all the sticky stuff is off, and basically um, now, making sure it's all off, then I get my guaranteed clean rag. The idea, if you touch it with a clean rag, if there's any glue or um, sticky residue on, then the, the rag will drag, you'll be able to feel it. Uh, I can feel a bit uh, just there, so again, just go over, and it's fine. If, like me, you, you've probably been pulling your hair out and having a nightmare, wondering what the heck are you going to do? Well, believe it or not, this is one of... Um, my very, very simplest methods to fix one of the serious problems that we have. There you go, that's done. I don't know whether you can see that. Um, not sticky at all. Um, if there was another way I could test it to prove it, I would do, but that's beautiful. That's fixed. Uh, next, give a bit of polish. Rub the polish in. I polish it now because I know the wife's going to start polishing them, so at least I know that uh, I've, I've put the first layer. And then, uh, let me turn it around. And then all I've got to do is buff it up. As you can see, nice little shine, no flat spots, not took any paint off and it's not sticky, not sticky at all. The recommendations for doing the main speaker uh, exactly the same. It, it, the, the only thing I would say is remember to um, keep the speaker up. Keep the speaker cone itself away and uh, don't overdo it with the cellulose thinners. Um, you, you've seen what I did. Just two fingers wet. Soak it on the rag. And then just a general wipe. Just to get it to soak into the gunk and the glue. Give it a couple of seconds to react. Don't forget to go down this, this screw well hole. And it's already starting to come off. So I don't know whether you can see. Um, you can actually physically see a layer of um, glue. You know, um, when you take uh, sellotape off um, a painted surface that's been on for a while, the sellotape comes away, but it, it leaves the messy glue. And uh, I, I did consider that when I first started to try and investigate how to fix this problem. 
and I used, uh, tried to use baby oil because um, that's uh, a good fix for um, sticky tape residue. Uh, no chance, did not work at all. I found that um, this is the only thing that works and you can see that it takes it off in exactly the same um, manner. It just congeals it back into a liquid and wipes it off. So you can see how I'm doing it and it's time to turn the rag over off because I don't want to be wiping it with that I'm taking it off. The idea is to uh, thinning it down enough for it to wipe off as a liquid which is what I've done. I've done one area, I'm going to do uh, turn it around do the other area and then do the sides. Uh, when that's done I'll get back to you. Hello, welcome back. So um, I just thought I'd show you uh, how I'm doing the front. Um, basically, uh, I've wet it down with the, with the chemical, with the cellulose, and um, it's absorbed right into this gooey, sticky mess. And uh, I've been very careful because we're next to the cone now. Obviously, with uh, any speaker, the, the cone, the cone is the money. And the rest is just aesthetics and I really don't want a big kef up really because they've, they've not been good to me however the quality of these speakers um, with the right AVM absolutely outstanding but you know that's um, that's another YouTube video I suppose and my rag's getting a little bit worse for wear. It's, I'm getting it difficult to find a clean spot. What I've done is um, just stolen one of the wife's uh, towels uh, because it's a little bit rough, which is good to um, soak up the, the, the sticky goo. Um, I think it's flat, like a t-shirt. I, I don't think there's uh, anything to um, help wipe the stuff off. Um, I'm just going around the red ledge now. So this is my first pass, what, what I'd say my first pass, which is I've got all the rough stuff off. Um, it's 90% done and what I'm going to do now is um, go over everything again uh, to, just to make sure that uh, the majority of it's come off. I've got to make sure that I get the right t-shirt. Uh, does anybody recognise that? <laughs> Forgive me for using uh, the lad's army top, but the soldier's motto, to survive. So I'm giving it uh, a second wipe now and I can see that uh, it's almost all gone. Um, I'm not feeling any sticky spots. Now I can see that uh, there's a little area where the, the lint off the cloth is stuck to it, so that's a sign, I suppose, that there's still a little bit of um, sticky goo on there. But with this nice clean t shirt, that's soon eradicated. Um, I could go and get you the other one and say here's one I did earlier, but uh, YouTube will allow you to put lengthy videos on now, so I'm not too fussed. And uh, as you're already watching and listening to me waffle on, I suppose uh, my waffling is entertaining enough. I was uh, sceptical at first with uh, cellulose thinners because I thought that uh, if it's designed to water down um, car paints, surely it's just going to take the whole the whole paint off completely because on on my first uh, attempt I used um, nitromorphs and that took the paint off right down to the bare just giving the opportunity to then go 
and uh, saw some nice plastic coat gloss paint and it looks okay, very chuffed, very pleased with it but it took absolutely forever to prepare so I think I'll turn this over now because I think there's glue on my uh, secondary rag so testing other chemicals, I come across this and I think I'll have the shiny gloss one as my centre speaker and then these uh, rubberized matte ones. Right, that's it. Then that's done. Um, basically, get rid of that rag. Get my uh, new rag. Um, I've got over it with my hands. You can feel if there's any flat spots where the, the glue and stickiness is still there. Right, to give it a quick polish. Any old polish. Remember, spray away from speaker and just give it uh, a general coating. Um, people don't say, oh, I don't polish your speakers, they're a matte back. But you know, when you've had enough trouble with these speakers uh, as I have, um, yeah, sod it. I'm just going to start polishing it. Beautiful layer of wax, nice bit of coating. It still stays fairly matte. Hopefully protect it from uh, whatever caused it before. I do believe there's a chemical in uh, the plastic coating that in a fashion um, oxidised itself and degraded so and, it, and believe me it happens to every single uh, egg in the in such a fashion that uh, they bought the, the new edition, the 305s, came out in uh, shiny black. The, the matte black had totally uh, been taken off the product list. So it's covered in polish. So I'm just going to give it a polish now, a bit of a buff. Want to get the wax activated. that bedded in and then probably accidentally drop it right I'm going to polish away and uh, I'll switch the camera back on when it's worth uh, showing so um, here's a summary to finish off this YouTube video we have uh, uh, another one of my care for eggs I'm going to end up doing a lot uh, with sticky horrible mess as you can see stick everywhere I don't want to put my fingers on it because obviously I'm going to show you my other sticky kef eggs uh, we can show you around look at the mess on literally wipe this sticky stuff off with my fingers so the solution is Two choices. Um, we can go down this road. This is my uh, nice shiny centre speaker. As you can see, it's uh, gloss black. And to do this, it's going to cost you maybe um, 15 to 20 quid, which would be. And to start off with, nitromorphs. You've got to take every single bit of paint off this unit. And the secondary, I um, prime the surface and then with your rust oleum, gloss black. It does a nice job, it takes a while, very expensive to do really. And everything's got to be stripped down, the speaker's got to come out, it's a very laborious job. And one that you've just seen me do. As you can see, it's nice and smooth. The polish has brought it back to a matte, uh, matte black, and all that cost was uh, cellulose thinners, $2.99. Um, it took 15 20 minutes, however, I'll be proud to put that back uh, on my system. So, to summarize uh, quick, cheap repair cellulose thinners. If you want to change it to make it look like the 2005 series, then uh, gloss paint. If you're not bothered, 
and you leave it duster and minging and put them on eBay and I'll buy them. Thanks for watching.